all right guys mark boy 316 here with another video and this is going to be episode five of how about this dvd and this one is in my opinion was a pointless release and a release that really made no sense it's the greatest superstars of wrestlemania to this set where's undertaker on the cover where's bret hart on the cover where's randy savage on the cover do you see him anywhere they were part of WrestleMania. Where's Andre the Giant? Really? Hell, Ultimate Warrior. They were stars of WrestleMania. How come they're not on the cover? Yes, you see Undertaker and Brett here on the back. Well, they should be on the front and center. Thank you. And Hogan and Slaughter from Seven for one of the matches. I would have put Warrior and Savage career-ending match from WrestleMania 7. If I had to pick a match from that WrestleMania. They have Brett and Yoko. For the WWE Championship match at uh, WrestleMania 10. Alright. Not a bad choice, but I would have probably put the ladder match or with Sean and Razor or Brett and Owen. Opening match from Mania. Uh, Stone Cold and Rock for the WWE Titles 15. Probably a good choice. That's a very good choice there. Rock and Hogan from 18. Great. Triple H and Jericho. No. I probably would with Flair and The Undertaker. At least have a a good Undertaker match on here would have been nice. Uh, for it from 18, that would have been good. Shawn Michaels Jericho from 19, good choice. Uh, Undertaker and uh, Randy Orton from 21, probably the best uh, Taker match for this. Uh, the, really, that they started mentioning the possibility of maybe Taker losing at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Orton had a chance of beating him, so that was a good, good choice there for that one. Seen in JBL for the title at 21. No, I would have put Ray and Eddie opening match from that pay per view from WrestleMania 21. And uh, Edge and Foley hardcore match from 22. Definitely great match right there. Ray, Randy, and Kurt in the triple threat for the World Heavyweight title where Ray wins the world title. Personally, I probably would have chosen the money in the bank, the one that RBD won, I do believe, at 22. So I would have probably chose that one. But the, uh, yeah, the match listing is not the greatest on here. If you have the anthology, if you have the paper, the WrestleMania pay per view is separate, I wouldn't even bother trying to pick this up. There's nothing on here you can't find on other sets. And why was it even made? And it's only a two disc set. I think the greatest superstars of WrestleMania would have released. You could have at least done a three disc set on it. And you could have done maybe exclusive interviews that weren't included on the actual uh, WrestleMania releases or uh, post-match interviews where you can't find anywhere else but here. You could have had maybe uh, at least put the build-up to the matches on here. Just You just have the matches and that's it. Like, it was cheaply done, cheaply made. So, yeah, not the greatest uh, DVD to have in your collection. I just have it for completionist reasons and have it to because I wanted to get every release they ever made. So, yeah. But, yeah, cheaply made. A pointless DVD, really. And there really would be no reason to even purchase it, purchase it unless somebody gave it to you for free and still... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, not great. So this one, pass on it. But, yeah, so those are my thoughts on the greatest superstars of WrestleMania. And not even, not even an insert, not even an insert for the match listing. You have to look on the back, which is the entire match listing, but still. Would have been nice to have at least an insert. But, yeah, definitely... <laughs> thumbs down so thank you guys for joining me I'll catch you guys in episode 6